Hey guys, and welcome to another uh, weekly update video. This time, again, week number five, I think. Um, so, so yeah, as usual, if you guys want to check uh, the progress live, I'm usually streaming on Twitch, sometimes, at least. Uh, and also, if you guys want to join the server, the links are in the description. You can find their, them both below. Uh, quite, uh, starting on the, the updates, as you guys can see, there are pretty major changes, visual changes at, at least. I completed most of the, or at least on these sides, uh, I completed the, most of the roof. Um, and uh, the ceiling, I mean, not the roof, the ceiling. And I also started some of these sides because we'll be using them pretty soon. As well, so you guys can see the, here. We also have a bunch, bunch more machines. I'll talk about that later. But first, let's come outside. We always start with the outside, as you guys know. Just hope I'm not getting bamboozled while I explain this. But yeah. So, uh, major changes here. Four more uh, coke ovens up there. Uh, four of these advanced coke ovens, these are not being used yet, but uh, the plan is to get a third dweller here. And also, our two dwellers are a bit different now. Uh, these are um, high pressure, and one of, one, one of these produces as much as the two that we had before. Uh, so, this makes it, it so that... Um, we are producing double the steam that we had before, and we still are producing enough to add a third one. So that's that's it. For now, we are basically producing 4 amps of MV power, or if you guys prefer, uh, a singular amp of HV power. For this, we also had to upgrade our cables, our, our um, fluid pipes, I mean, and also the water tanks and the pipe piping for some of the, the stuffs for the coke oven. Since the tin pipes we had before were not uh, transporting enough for the four more um, the four more boilers. Yeah, coke ovens. I mean. So yeah, that was those changes. Then. Let's come down here. I added the pillars. If you if you know, you know. Uh, but I'll probably move them. So so yeah, they are there for now. Oh, am I missing food? Oh yeah, I should grab some more food. Pretty soon, at least, because uh, as you guys see, yeah, this is pretty weak. This is pretty weak. Actually, I just want to check something. Oh, okay, okay, they are pretty exhausted right now. Uh, so yeah, I'll take care of that after the, the video. But yeah, starting from this side, we have here some HV machines, since, I mean, uh, just got to HV, like two days ago, so it's still not much. Blast furnace is upgraded with cancel coils, and also we are using full steam for this, which we are producing enough, but... Uh, uh, if you want to turn on more of those machines over there, it will not be enough. Then, moving on, MV machines, LV machines, more LV machines. Uh, MV machines, actually, these are, these are um, MV. We are actually missing some fuel here as well, so... Uh, for now, I'll just take two cells. This is another... Edition, I'll get there in a second. And does this have a. Okay, this does have a battery buffer, so that's nice. So we can run two of these at the same time. Or at least two. Now, this side is our. This is our uh, steam production. Uh, not steam production, what the fuck am I saying? Uh, diesel production, as you guys can see here. Uh, this is not very efficient, and it was actually a bit of a pain because of this step here but it does the job at least for now it does the job we are getting 
well, there's a super tank of well up there, so we are just dividing into both of these to produce the light, uh, sulfuric light fuel, which goes to here, this goes here, this then goes here, with the heavy fuel, the heavy fuel comes from here, it got centrifuges to heavy oil, uh, sulfuric heavy oil, and then the sulfurized here, uh, like this. Oh, this is actually pretty full, so let's take care of that. And I'll place that here. Uh, so yeah, this is just to unsulfurize, the sulfurize, I don't know. Yeah, this stuff, we just electrolyze it back for some hydrogen, and of course we get a little bit of sulfur in the process, which is a bit of a pain, but there's not much we can do. At least with the way this is set up right now. Now, this, uh, on this side we have the polyethylene and polyvinyl chloride. We start here, we are actually canning light fuel, which comes here and mixes with steam to make a severely steam correct light fuel. Uh, for ethylene, we put for some. Uh, this produces uh, tiny piles of carbon, which gets, uh, gets packaged into carbon. The ethylene is divided into two chemical reactors. One of is this one, which combines with oxygen to make polyethylene. The other one combines with chlorine to make vinyl chloride. The chlorine gets sent up here. Um, actually, not the chlorine, but the, this produces hydrochloric acid, I think. So, the for, uh, chlorine, I, maybe it can... Uh, Cycle. I'm still not sure to be honest, uh, but yeah, the oxygen, the hydrogen goes here. Empty cell, empty cells come here, um, and after that, it comes down here. This mixes with oxygen again and produces our polyvinyl chloride. So that's that. Uh, this side, this side, we we have sulfuric acid, but this setup is a mess. I don't really like this setup. Uh, I should probably try and do a better one, but uh, we might be able to hold on, hold on on this until we have the large chemical reactors all working nicely. Uh, for now, it is not really a problem. But basically, how it works is we have well these three chemical reactors, and the recipes we are doing are not very good, I don't think. Uh, first we have this one. Oh, I mean, let's start with the last one. Let's start from finish to beginning, I guess. Uh, so for our sulfuric acid, we have the water and our sulfur trioxide in a cell. So for this, then we have we are doing this recipe with the oxygen cell. Uh, well, in a cell, I guess, and it's sulfur dioxide in fluid form. And for this one, we are doing this one. Uh, which is sulfur in an uh, oxygen gas in fluid form. And this uh, complicates a bit uh, the things, but I still uh, haven't bothered to change this up. I just crafted a big batch and that's what we have here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this side we have uh, the our silicon sour grade dust. This is actually a better setup than what I had on my previous playthrough. I don't know if this recipe is new. I don't think it is, but it's it's pretty easy. I, uh, mm, I'll show you guys. I think I should be able to. Uh, let's see if I can find the recipe quickly. Uh, not that one. Uh, not that one. It's ruthenium. I think I can just search for it. It's not that big of a deal. Silicon. Okay, this one. So we are doing uh, this one. So this is just the uh, Trichlor Selene. Uh, well, let's start with this, I guess. We just input the raw silicon dust, the hydrochloric acid, and two cells. Then we get two hydrogen cells and the uh, Trichlor Selene. And from there, to get our uh, solar grade stuff, we had the, the two hydrogen cells we, that we just got back, and also the chlorosilane. So basically, well, 
go both the, the the cells and the hydrochloric acid just cycle. Uh, so we we just need to input the the raw silicon dust and we get the uh, solar grid stuff, which is pretty cool. It's pretty easy. And finally, uh, here we have iron free chloride. For this one, we need to input chlorine, which is a bit annoying. The top uh, the top uh, chemical reactor does the uh, hydrochloric acid recipe, and this one mixes with iron dust. So that's how we get the iron free chloride. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for our processes. Another thing that I want to point out is, as you guys can see, all of these are like one block inside of the wall, whereas these ones are flushed with the wall. I actually didn't want them to be flushed with the wall, but I just noticed kind of late, so... Uh, the ones that I have to change to completely re rebuild, I'm doing the correct way, which is like this. Uh, and the other ones, I'm still doing the... Uh, well, I'm not changing them yet, basically. But as, as you guys can see, all of them are now uh, being done right, I guess. So... Just uh, one more thing before we finish. As you guys can see, I changed the um, color of the blocks here. I'm not the biggest fan of red, so I wasn't really vibing with it. So I just ended up changing to this Mist 8, which is kind of a bluish greenish color. Don't really mind it, but uh, it might be, it might not be. Um, the best, let's say. Uh, but yeah, I think this is all for this week. I hope to see you guys next week. And yeah, uh, that's it. Bye bye.